Hi, and welcome back to Galloway Lights. Today we're going to look at the Swarm, number two. Yes, they were from the iWave High. They're mine. I'm going to make some frame repair kits. I'm using this one as a model. I'm going to use some sheet metal. I believe it's 28 gauge. And I'm using my brake from Harbor Freights. Not only is it a brake, but it also bends the metal. And I'm using some, I think believe that they call it slip metal. It gives it just a little bit more space there so the metal sticks out and gets that bend right at the uh, point where the frame and the tab starts. Now this last bend is going to finish the tab. On the side of the box there's a half inch groove or dado that the little tab sits in and suspends the frame. And this slip metal is going to increase that gap just a hair and so I can get it all consistent. And I'm trying to do them all at once maybe to save a little time. Even though it is a little tedious to try and get them all lined up just right. It has like a little V slot that it just jams the metal down into. Now I'm going to do a little fine tuning on all these because they're not a perfect 90 degree. Not too far off. And now I'm going to cut the final length. Once again I'm using that slip metal to try and use it as a guide and so that they're all the same length. Not that it's important. But if you're going to copy something, you might as well copy it exactly. Using my frame, help line them all up. Final adjustments, we're going to check it with the original. Yep, that should do it right about there. And now we're going to cut it. Now that they're all ready, let's go out to the hive and install them. So this is the swarm. We caught them earlier in the week. And there's my goof up frames. They're almost the way they need them be. Just that tab. And not that direction, that's the wrong way. Yes, that's the correct way. I'm going to use my quarter inch Harbor Freight staple gun. The staples are about one inch long and they're going to stick out just a little bit. Takes a little finesse and this is going to simulate that little half inch tab. Now that little piece that sticks out, we're going to use some pliers and they just happen to be from Harbor Freights too. I'm going to bend over the extra that sticks through. That way nothing is pro poking through to you know, be in the way of the wax. Now that you see that little piece of comb stuck to the frame, that's wax foundation that the bees had drawn out I guess last year. And I cut it into strips and used some wax to adhere it to the frame. Now it looks almost like a regular frame. Well I'm going to proceed to do the rest of these. And now I'm getting to the part where the bees are starting to draw comb on the frames. I used a little bit of wax from other time, uh, I think it was from their own wax they started drawing out and uh, adhered it to that frame. And they're continuing to draw it out. And instead of shaking the bees off, I'm finding that they don't really care about the staple gun. I guess it really doesn't shake them up too much. That's impressive. I think I lost, what, three bees? I think the pliers shake it more than the rest. Oh, 
Oh, good for these bees for staying in there. I'm impressed. And I'm not using any protection. I do have a veil on, just in case. So now let's see if we see any eggs. It's only been a couple days. I believe this was a virgin that came out of one of the queen cells. I left too many in the hive and they swarmed. I was trying to make a uh, three-way split and some of the frames had too many cells. They are drawing it out. Nice white comb. And they're starting to fill it with a little bit of nectar, but I don't see any eggs. I have to give it a couple days. Maybe she has to go out and get mated. I mean, she did just hatch a couple days ago. Yep, rolling out some more nectar, and that's comb that they just put on there. Notice they don't stick it to the plastic frame like they're supposed to. Well, I'll let them slide. I mean, they're new bees, you know. Oh, I got one more of these frames that I got to put back. I want to have all this empty stuff all in the middle. So hopefully they make it beautiful and pretty. No wonky comb. For those starter strips, I'm hoping. But we shall see. And that does it for the uh, swarm number two. And I'm adding some more food. They've gone through, this is going to be their second two liter of one on one sugar water. Only like a week. I'm hoping they'll build out lots of comb and get ready for winter. Thanks for watching.